Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's a mixed bag of dollar um, 25 stuff and the plus section. And also I ran into Michael's. I had a coupon like you do. So I thought I would show you what I picked up on clearance in there real quick. They're having their end of season clearance sale. So I needed a few, okay, I did not need a few things, but I had a $5 coupon, is that better? <laughs> so I picked up, let me see what I got. Wall cube, wall cube. Oh, a thing and this, okay. So I grabbed some beads. These are, um, I use them on hat pins and I put them in my like pin cushion just for decoration. These were $5, they were not on sale, $5.54, but you get eight little candy corns. So I grab those. When I go to my stitchy retreat in October, I'm bringing a take and make. So I'm bringing a bunch of beads and pins and glue and at our table we can make ourselves whatever we want. So I grab those to add. And um, then I found these. And they do hang on the wall, if you see on the back, or you can sit them. I have a bunch of England stuff and um, just memorabilia, and I want to somehow display it. I don't know that, I feel like there's a size missing in between, but they didn't have it. It's okay. I think I'm just going to set this on my dresser and display things at different heights. I can hang it if I want. I can paint it if I want. These were... Uh, let's see. I think they were 75% off. This was $26.99 and I got it for $6.42. And this one was $19.99 and I got it for $4.75. So I do feel like there's one size missing, but like I said, it's fine. I'll make it work. I like different height stuff. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up at Michael's. I just thought I would share. I'm actually having a Diet Dr. Pepper today. I don't often drink soda, but I thought I would have some today. Okay, Dollar Tree stuff. Um, let's start. I just now got these at my store. I think you guys got them last year. I bought two. I would like to make maybe a tiered tray or some such something. Probably spray paint them. I don't know crafty stuff. I love them. And I was looking for them last year and never found them. I mean, even if you're going to put cookies and stuff at the holidays, you can put a couple different heights. Again, I like things different heights. So I grabbed two. They'll go out in with my serving trays and stuff like that. So I grabbed those. Oh, Next weekend is my bike ride at Pelotonia. If the description box is below, if you would like to support my ride, I would really appreciate it. I will be riding 25 miles and raising money for cancer research through the James at Ohio State, and I need to raise $1,500. Thank you. Um, but for ride day, I get these meat sticks. Um, there's two carbs. I put them in my bag and when I'm riding, if I get hungry or need some energy because I can't do carbs or sugar, I have these with me, so I grab them. I buy that all the time, you know that. Okay, there's some new Halloween, new to me. I always have to say new to me. Um, I found, I think is the third tree topper, but we've determined that I'm probably not gonna put these on trees. I think I'm just going to put them and set them on a shelf as decor. I might even glue them to like a brick or a block, a wooden block painted, so I can sit them out as decor. So I have the raven, I have the witch, and now I have this. And if there is a black cat, somebody please tell me because I would I would need like five of those. Um, you know, black cats. But I grabbed the bat, that was I think the third one. Um, I think I'm going to go black and purple this year, or at least jewel tones. So I grabbed some purple ribbon. Maybe I'll make a bow. I don't know. I love this ribbon. It's velvety. Definitely is not real velvet, but it is velveteen. So it feels like velvet. Also, if I do any small Halloween decor with the cross stitch, I can use this as backer. So 
So I grabbed two of those. And then I, I don't know why I picked this up because I don't plan on having a um, tree, but it said Hocus Pocus, and so I had to have it. It is just a tree skirt for the Halloween tree, like a tree collar. I just love it. Oh, what if I paint this black up and put that on there? That'd be kind of cool. Options, people, options. We need all the options. Okay, oh, I gotta reach more stuff. Um, oh, I went into one of my stores this morning and they had adult tank tops. I don't know if this will fit, but it's Rosie the Riveter, like a modern twist. And it says, we can do it. So I grabbed two of these, one for me and one for Sarah, my niece because I feel like these would make good pajamas, if anything, or, you know, bum around the house clothes, but I think they're awesome. I don't know the brand. Anvil is the tank top, but that's not who made the shirts. They had a bunch and they had for children as well. And then I got this one definitely to just bum around in. And this one says, You something girl, I don't know what it says. I don't think it's offensive, how about that? I can't make out that middle word, you glow girl. Oh, you glow instead of you go girl, you glow girl. And I thought that was super cute, definitely big enough for pajamas for me. I love sleeping in tank tops, for sure, and yes, plastic bags, I know, but I use them for the cat litter. I grabbed these for Luna. These are just snack sticks um, for smaller dogs. She is a smaller dog. They are made in America and there's nothing bad in here. I wanna say hi. First you say hi, give me kisses. Give me a kiss. She said no, just give me a treat. Luna's visiting. Her mom is on her way back from vacation. There you go. Okay, good girl. Um, I don't know if you saw the spool of ribbon I bought on my last haul, but it's this and I'm dying. So I grabbed one of these because it's already done for me. I uh, know. And I love these colors. I'm definitely doing the navy blue gold in here. Well, actually I already have the navy blue pillows out, so I'll just add gold. But I'm definitely going with this color scheme and with little pops of orange for fall, Halloween giving. So I grabbed those bows because you need them. Uh, these are definitely new to me. Again, I mean, I don't feel like I've seen this stuff before. I do watch it. Hold on. It's stuck. Ah, it's stuck. It's, hold on. I have, I have stuck. Here we go. Okay. These are egg corns, but they're like felt. And then they have the curly cues, and they are the they're acorn picks. They are Greenbrier. They have the fall. I'm dying. I love them. I just want to put them out with a little egg with a little squirrel. So I grabbed two. I feel like that's appropriate. I love them. Then they had, and I did grab one of each of these. They are with the dang bows. And a lot of hot glue on that one. Hold on, I'm peeling that. Look at all that glue. I, it may get another bow, it may not, but they're wire. Here's one of the drawbacks is gonna be storing these. They get, they're very bendable. Some of them were already banged up. But they had it in the white with the brown. And then they have an orange and white. And then a solid orange. I love these. I love it. I'm wondering if I can make them stand somehow or make something. I mean, you can even attach them to like a wreath or something. And this one I'm all about, this green. And yeah, they. I mean, they're obviously designed to hang. They're very messily done. There's hot glue. There's hot glue all over them, but it's okay. It's okay. Luna. Hey, do you want a treat? 
the neighbors are outside in their car. In their car. Okay, go eat your treat. Thank you. So yeah, these were the four I saw at my store. Um, I just pulled some paint off, easily touched up. So I'm not sure. It might even look cute, like attached to a wooden or some type of like sign. So I grabbed those to show you. Oh, they have these in the back, the school section. They were notepads. It's a desk notepad and it says, get it done. And this one has the days of the week. And then it says, work list, home list. And then this one is a little different. It has the days of the week down here, work list, home list. I do love a checklist. So I grab those uh, for my work desk. So I will leave probably one upstairs at my home desk and one on my work. Um, and then I found a different one of these. It looks like a book. And I wanna paint it black and I'm gonna go over this with like white and then make these spiders purple maybe and write something. I have these oil-based marker pens. So I have two of these now. So we'll see. I have all these grandiose plans and I have too many jobs and nothing gets done. That's what happens. Okay. Oh yeah, for when I go to my retreat, and I'm doing the gluing, I brought toothpicks because putting the glue on is easier with a toothpick. So I just grab these. It'll all go in a container with these beads and the glue and everything we need. So I just picked those up. Um, I grabbed some chapstick for Pelotonia riding. Um, we love, my mouth gets so dry when I ride. Part of it I think is the medication I take, um, but part of it is it's just hot and dry. So. I got these for my friend Wendy and her wife. They're riding this year and it's her wife's first year. So I got them some chapstick and tissues is the other thing we always bring in our back of our jersey uh, because for whatever reason, my nose runs every time I ride my bike. So we always have to have a tissue and chapstick. Snacks and drinks are a given. These are your necessities right here. So I wasn't sure who liked what flavor. So I got them plain, cherry, and strawberry. I know when Wendy doesn't like peppermint, I can tell you that. I No, ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Um, just a couple more things, this is gonna be a quick one today. I grabbed this sign, I was watching Jessica Lynn, I think is her name, and she did a little project where she took a piece of wood and glued it together, but then she took the wooden just like the wooden signs of the haunted houses and painted it all black and made like a silhouette. And I thought that was fantastic. So I may end up doing something similar, not as big as hers, but these always come in very handy to stand things up. Again, I don't know what time I think I'm gonna have to do all this, but we're, we're gonna dream. A girl can dream, okay? A girl can dream. I'm not sure who I am and why I'm so into Halloween this year because I don't even like Halloween, but I do like decorating. Um, I got this, it is $3 and it's got the Raven. I'm loving the Raven this year. I don't know if you can see it, but again, I got the candles or I can get a purple candle and just sit this on my mantle with a candle on it. I won't even burn the candle really, probably but I love it. I love the little pop of sparkle and it doesn't have, I mean, it's just a little bit of fallout. It definitely is not a glitter bomb like some stuff and there's no bow on it. That's nice. And then the last thing I got is this tiered tray. Now I got it to pair with these on my dresser because it's all that wood tone to put my display of all my stuff from England. It was $5 and we're gonna put it together. Here's the thing, I, I feel like, ooh, be very careful with these when you have pets around too. I feel like this is becoming like what the Target dollar spot used to be. You know, there used to be good things at the Target dollar spot and there still is, but I don't see like, I don't feel like they have all of the, um, I don't know, the stuff I like, which is mostly, I may have to get a screwdriver out here or a wrench. I may need a wrench. I'll, I'll tighten it down later. 
but I mean, this is honestly the same quality, if not, dare I say slightly better than the ones I've purchased at the dollar spot for the same price or more. Now, I do need to tighten it up. I am not mad at this in the least littlest bit. It was $5. I have a bunch of um, cross stitches that I did and little tchotchkes that can sit in here from England that I wanna put out and display. I am not mad at this at all. I do need to get a wrench and tighten it from the bottom. This, it's bigger than anything I've seen at the Target Dollar Spot or the Bullseye Playground, and it's definitely more sturdy, and it has more surface space. I love it. So that is what I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I went to four different stores. Um, two of my stores are already, plus, three of my stores are already plus stores. Two of them that I went to today are literally days from opening up their plus section. They had the aisles set up, but they had them tarped off so you couldn't go shop in them yet. So they're days away from having one. And in my town that I live in, Pickerington, there's a brand new Dollar Tree up the road for me and it's fantastic. They have gift cards, like real gift cards, like Amazon and Visa gift cards and PayPal and all the kinds. I was like, who are you Dollar Tree? All right, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching to the end. It really means a lot to me, and I will talk with you later.